How are you feeling today? Better or worse? Let's talk about comparative and superlative adjectives. There are six rules that we have to remember when dealing with comparative adjectives. But let's ask first, what is a comparative adjective? Well, an adjective is a describing word like old or yellow or beautiful. And a comparative adjective is one that we can use to make comparisons between two people, two objects. For example, this person is older than the other person. Now, we're going to see very soon how important comparative adjectives are for discussing patient conditions from one day to the next day. Okay. First, though, let's see these rules. The first one, it says add ER to all one syllable adjectives. For example, old is only one syllable, old. Therefore, you add ER to make the comparative. Rule two, add IER to all two syllable adjectives ending in Y. Now, the example is happy. So it's happy is two syllables and it ends in Y. Therefore, it becomes happier. Is not more happy. No, 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 no. It is happier. This song is happier than the other song. Rule three says add double consonant if the adjective ends in a vowel and a consonant. We can see that here. The adjective fact ends in a consonant and a vowel. Therefore, when we make the comparative form, we add double consonant, TT, and then ER, because it ends the word in a vowel and a consonant. Rule four says use more plus adjective in all other cases. So yellow is a two syllable word, but it doesn't end in Y, like happy or angry or jolly. Therefore, the comparative form is more yellow. Okay. Beautiful. That's a three syllable word. Beautiful. All three syllable words form the comparative by putting more in front of them. It says rule five, use less plus adjective always for the negative, no matter how many syllables. Less old, less yellow, less beautiful, less happy, less fat, less intelligent. Okay. So it doesn't matter what letter it ends in. It doesn't matter how many syllables. For the negative, we use less plus adjective. Finally, rule six says common exceptions exist, which we must be conscious of. For example, good. The comparative form is not more good. No, no, no. It is better. This is better than that. Bad. The comparative form is worse. This movie is worse than the movie we saw yesterday, for example. Far, comparative form, further. So, let's try making some comparative adjectives using words that you might see in a healthcare context. The first one, anxious. What will the comparative form be? Pause and think. What's the answer? It is more anxious. It's a two syllable word, isn't it? It doesn't end in Y. Therefore, the comparative form is more anxious. Red, redder. And we see double consonant. Why is it double consonant? Well, that is because it ends in a vowel and a consonant. So, therefore, in the comparative form, we put double consonant, of course. The next one, saw. How many syllables is it? Saw. Just one syllable. Therefore, 
sora. Okay, for the comparative, all one syllable adjectives form the comparative using er. Wheezy, wheezier, because it ends in a y. Two syllables, but it ends in a y. So therefore, ier, just like happier, angrier, jollier, wheezier. Inflamed. What's the comparative form going to be? More inflamed is two syllables. It doesn't end in Y, like wheezy. Therefore, it's more plus inflamed. Blurry is two syllables. It ends in Y, therefore blurrier. And the final one, run down. This is a phrasal verb being used as an adjective here. We see more run down. Okay. So with these types of adjectives, although they are two words, um, two one-syllable words, we should consider them as though they were just one two-syllable word when it comes to forming the comparative. Task two, it says, could you give an example of the comparative adjective in a sentence? Do any examples come to mind? Write your examples in the comments down below. I'll give you a couple more anxious. For example, the patient felt more anxious after having been hospitalized. Redder. The wound looked redder and more inflamed. Blurrier. Well, if we move on to task three and start looking at these pictures, we can see that A looks blurrier than B, right? This picture is blurrier than the second one. This rash, it looks um, less red than this one. This one looks redder than that one. And then these two men, maybe we'd say, he looks more anxious than E, right? F looks more anxious than E. Maybe F also looks more run down than E, okay? So those are some examples of how we can use these comparative adjectives in sentences related to healthcare. We've got more examples, of course. What we need to improve is practice, practice, practice. Always more examples. So how about this first one? What's the comparative form going to be of frail? It's going to be, it's just one syllable, isn't it? Therefore, frailer. Mm -hmm. All one syllable adjectives form the comparative with er. Painful, painful, more painful two syllables it does not end in y shivery wait you think wait shivery that ends in y yes it does end in y just like happy and angry however shivery that's three syllables isn't it only two syllable words ending in y form the comparative with i-e-r happy angry shivery that's three syllables isn't it more shivery, stiff, stiffer, that's just one syllable. Swollen, it's uh, two syllables and it doesn't end in Y. Dizzy, two syllables, ends in Y, therefore dizzier. And then finding nauseous, what do you think it's gonna be? Answer in your head, it's gonna be more nauseous, exactly, fantastic. So that's task one, task two, can you think of any examples of sentences which might come up, which you might see in a healthcare context, which contain these phrases? Maybe write your example sentences down below in the comments. We have some pictures here, of course. What can we say about these pictures? Well, A, this individual's leg looks more swollen um, than the patient's leg in picture B. Picture B's leg looks less swollen than uh, patient A's leg. Then with C and D, well, this is a controversial one, isn't it? Well, maybe you could say D is more painful than C, although some people argue the opposite, that C is more painful than D. What's your opinion? Let us know in the comments down below. Then we have these two 
elderly individuals, um, I would say F, this lady here doing a deadlift or some type of maneuver, she is um, definitely less frail, isn't she? Um, so I would say this man, E, is frailer than she is, right? He is frailer than she is. Can you think of any other examples, any other comparisons you can make between these pictures using comparative adjectives? Well, I hope you found that brief introduction to comparative adjectives in the healthcare context useful. Click down below for the next video in the series about superlative adjectives. And don't forget to give the video a like, to hit subscribe, and leave a comment down below. It really helps me out. Also, you'll see in the video description details about individual and group English classes that I give to doctors and nurses who want to do the occupational English test or the IELTS or who just want more general assistance with their English. It's fantastic for your professional development and it's a lot of fun. Well, thank you for watching. See you next time.